you're watching it midday's a week and I'm gonna be playing Legend of Mana it's not really like a sequel to Secret of Mana but it's set in the same setting I guess uh, but yeah it's not really a sequel or something and uh, it's a shame that this game didn't have the... I mean, if I remember correct, this was supposed to have like a pocket station compatibility. And um, I had a pocket station before, but I never figured out how to use it for this game. Or if it's re actually really usable. Never found out. Anyway. I, d I like this game for its 2D artwork. So we're looking at the intro right now. Oops. An intro that apparently I cannot skip. So we'll have to bear with it. It's not terrible anyway, but I just prefer the actual gameplay. Square had a lot of RPGs during the PlayStation 1 days. Alright, finally, let's uh, almost uh, three minutes. Huh. Okay, that's weird. I cannot seem to move the. Interesting. So it's not that the intro was unskippable, but um, I cannot seem to control anything here. Um, I'm just gonna try to restart everything. Let's see if it's really like that. There you see the other games that I recently played. And uh, if you haven't watched those videos, please check out my channel. Yeah, I can't seem to control this game. <laughs> Oh, that's unfortunate. Anyway, while you're watching the intro again, let me see if I could replace the controller using my PS4 controller instead.
So I now have my PlayStation 4 controller plugged in. Now uh, let's see if it's make gonna make a difference. Okay, almost thought it uh, hanged on me there. Okay, here we go. I'm pretty sure the controller is okay because I'm able to go back to the RetroArch screen but when this game loads, when it's running, none of the buttons work. Um, Alright, just to make sure, controls. Uh, I don't want to mess with this. It might mess up the other games, and it's hard to... Anyway, it seems to be isolated to just this game. So, yeah. Unfortunately, looks like Legend of Mana is not working properly on the PlayStation Classic. Some issue with the controls. Um... If you have any luck with it, uh, do let me know. Maybe it's just my copy or just my configuration of the RetroArch. Maybe it works on uh, when we run using the stock emulator. I'm not sure. But, uh, if you know, do let me know on the comment section. But that's it for this video. I apologize for the lack of gameplay, but it seems to have some issues with the PlayStation Classic. And you're watching 8-bit days a week. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.